versus Whistler in the other semifinal. Uh, another best of five. So without further ado, going into game one on Beltway. <coughs> and of course, of course, as is uh, being discussed in the chat, everyone should blame Justin if you disagree with the map choice. Uh, looks like we will have white and brown. Uh, and unfortunately, since it's a replay, I cannot change the colors, so hopefully I do not miss too much due to brown being impossible to see on the minimap. So in the top right corner, we have Scan, the infamous Scan. And in the bottom right position, we have uh, NB Whistler. The brown Zerg, is he using... Oh, it looks like he's only got one R in his name now. Bam! Look at that. So uh, this is, once again, the new Pro League map, a Beltway. Um, maybe I should bring up a picture of Beltway while nothing is happening. Um, Beltway. Beltway 1.1. Look at that. Oh, wait, I can't even zoom in because it's like weird aspect ratio. So uh, we have, well, if we look at the top right, uh, a natural here. There's a temple back there, kind of like on Andromeda with like an extra thing behind your natural. So... Um, Sergis can do the the meter harass back here. I think this in the new version of this map, the temple was moved up, so it's easier to mute a micro back there. But uh, oh, and I think also the middle expos were were made lower ground. But anyway, right now you have high ground middle uh, mineral onlys, um, and then each side twelve, three, six, and nine have these extra expos. Um, back to the game. What is going on here? It looks like depot in the main. Uh, Whistler going for a twelve hatch most likely. And there it is. Uh, interestingly, not going for a drone scout. Um, I guess he's confident that Scam will not do any kind of cheese. Um, although Scan is actually going for a gas without walling in his front. Uh, that seems a little bit risky. Uh, considering it means you're going for mech, so you're not going to have like that many marines in the beginning. But uh, I guess... I don't know. I guess we'll see. Now, uh, interestingly, oh, first of all, first of all, the, the map once again. I believe this incarnation of the map is slightly uh, is is slightly imbalanced for Terran in TVZ. Uh, the I know the the changes they made on the the newest version were all good for Zerg. So uh, so yeah. <coughs> and uh, I was actually talking to Whistler before this match. Uh, Whistler going for three hatches, by the way. Uh, so I was talking to Whistler before this match, and apparently he's lost to Scan in like every single tournament match they've played. Uh, even, um, like apparently he got Scan like three port wraithed him in the. Whoa! Looks like Scan going for an SEV rush with a gas as well. Scan. Uh, well, he played this game before, <laughs> before Karate's final game, but. Oh my goodness! Bunker rushing. The 12 hatch, pulling all the SCVs. Scan's not messing around. Oh man, Scan. Whistle, you need to pull more drones, man. Whistle, you need more drones. Whistle only pulled five drones. He did not pull enough drones. The bunker is going to finish. Where's the Marine? If he can snipe the Marine, that'll be so crucial. He's going to try and snipe the Marine. The Marine! The Marine is. It's got half health. He's shooting. The Marine goes down. The Marine goes down. But two drones also go down. He's going to try and intercept any more Marines with these four drones. I think. Oh, he's not paying attention, Whistler! Whistler's not paying attention. He didn't get it. He's transferring the rest of his drones through the SEVs. He needs to stop the Marine from getting in the bunker. The Marine's messing up a little bit. The Marine AI is messing up. The Marine does go down. He's trying to catch the third Marine right now. But but Whistler is only mining with two drones, and Scan is still mining with plenty of SCVs. The factory is already being constructed right here. Is he going to get the last Marine? Oh, the last Marine has one hit left on it, but it looks like Whistler has a lot of damaged dudes. Uh, and actually, no, his links are out already, so he doesn't need to use his drones anymore. But uh, Whistler has taken so much damage. Oh, excuse me. And the factory is uh, already half... Uh, halfway complete. Now, Scam will need to leave a few of these SCVs on the ramp to defend against this Ling uh, counterattack. Uh, dude, you need to leave some dudes on the ramp! You need to leave some on the ramp! Oh, Whistler can go for it! That Marine only has one hit left! One SCV is on the ramp! Scan! Scan is pulling the SCVs barely in time, but Whistler is getting up the ramp! He gets, there's only one Marine remaining! Uh, Scan is trying to do some nice SCV micro. Three Marines, or three Lings, rather, get up the ramp, but it looks like two of them are severely damaged. 
And the Vulture is being produced, so Scan will survive this. Although it will cost him a little bit more mining time uh, than if he had just originally left an SCV or two on the ramp. The, ooh, the Ling's all blowing up uh, from that SCV stack. And Scan building a start point on the top right. However, notice he's not mining gas with any SCVs. Um, so gonna probably expand as well. And a Sunken being produced for Whistler. Is it gonna be in time? Uh, I think it will be in time. Yes, it will. And two drones blocking the ramp. Oh, very nice. Uh, so that Vulture will not be able to do anything. I don't think... No, it's got nowhere to sneak around. Okay, cool. Um, has Scan... Looks like Scan's only put one guy back on gas, so he will be expanding behind this. Um, I think I actually... We actually saw him do this uh, in the group stage uh, where he played against... I think it was his game against Karate in the group stage, actually. Uh, he did a similar build. Um, although I can't... It was like some kind of weird Wraith tank thing, I think that's what he did. Is that what he did? I can't remember. I cannot remember. Um, meanwhile, what is going on in Whistler's base? He's getting his second gas without mining. Okay, now he's mining this gas. He doesn't actually have a lair yet, though. Uh, so I don't know why he needs a second gas already. It's a little bit weird. Uh, he's not going to have anything to spend the gas on. Is he? I guess he's going for Hydras? But you don't need two gas for Hydras, though, do you? I don't think you do. And it looks like Scan is actually taking out this uh, Protoss Temple behind his natural. Uh, so he will have access to this back part of his natural to defend against any mutilus Harass. And what is Whistler doing? Okay, he is going for a Hydra Den, but I don't know why you need two gas for... Oh, I guess if you want to get the upgrades, I guess you do need the second gas. Um, yeah, I mean, just the Hydras alone, you don't need it. But uh, I guess he's going for Hydras, hy or rather the, the upgrades as well. So that makes sense. One Overlord does get sniped. Scan doing a little fancy micro, and uh, we'll be switching into normal bioplay. He's actually not making anything else from this, uh, this starport. Um, not even gonna... Well, I guess I wonder what he would make. Nothing really. Uh, now this wraith, wraith also serves the purpose of scouting. Um, he's gonna see exactly what's up, he's gonna see the den, see the lair making. Is he... he will get one drone and will be pushed away by that one hydra. There's another one at the natural. So uh, Whistler will be defended for now. And Scan's sending an SCV, I don't know why he needs to send an SCV. Uh, maybe to check out the third bases, and the temple does go down. So Scan should be nicely defended. Getting a second gas already. Uh, that's a little bit fast, I think, if you're just going bio. I mean, he doesn't actually have an academy yet. Oh, there's the academy, never mind. Uh, he's getting plus one. Uh, maybe that's actually fine. Okay, he's going for a two barracks with tanks and possibly fast science vessels. I think that would make the most sense given his uh, fast starport. Oh, that overlord! That overlord's trying to hide. He's trying to hide there. Oh my goodness! Is Whistler expecting mech? Oh no, Whistler! Whistler! Oh wait, he does have a lair though. Oh, but he's getting range. Oh man, Whistler's not getting lurkers. Oh no, the bio. Uh, the link did come in here. I don't know if he's if he can tell from what he saw whether. Uh, whether that was actually a bio switch, but he is getting plus one range attack now, so he is definitely preparing for a mech push. Um, and the bio, because I mean, I mean, in in small numbers, hydras are okay against bio, but once you get up a decent number of medic marine, hydras just do not cut it. Uh, I think Whistler might have a slim timing here, where he, where he can actually just go and kill Scan uh, before before enough units come out, before siege tanks, before enough siege tanks come out. And it looks like a dropship is being made for a scan. Oh my god, if he can actually drop uh, behind the natural here, because the temples will be blocking here, that would be extremely annoying for Whistler to deal with, especially with no air. And it looks like an SCV is going out. It will see that the Hydras do have range, or sorry, do have speed. Looks like range is almost finished as well. And oh my god, Whistler sacrificing two Hydras into bunkers! Oh man, those were there, were, there are eight Marines in those bunkers, so they killed those uh, Hydras quite fast. I don't know if he's close enough to see the medics, though. Um, is he going to get Lurkers? Yes, he is getting Lurkers, so he will be or, uh, okay if he can get those up in time. Uh, looks like a second dropship is being made for Scan. Is Scan just going to do some like huge drop onto this onto this natural? That would be extremely annoying. Uh, looks like Whistler is taking the 6 o'clock base. And Scan just chilling right now with that, uh, with that dropship. We have random links running around checking all the possible third bases. I like that. 
And the viewer count on Justin TV seems to have gone down to two. I hope the stream is still live and not crashed. Oh no, look like it's back. And it looks like he is loading up six Marines, two medics, and two siege tanks. But there are a lot of hydras here. Does he have borrow? Oh man, if he has borrow, that would be so sick. Oh man, he just needs to move the hydras over a little bit though. He needs to move the hydras over. Oh, Whistler! Move the hydras! No, Whistler! Whistler was so good! Oh. I'm disappointed. I am disappoint. Um, so now he's gonna have to deal with this. He is attacking me uh, the temple, but with only two hydras. Oh man, that is that is not good. Um, if his if his hydras just like three hexes to the right, he would have just completely crushed that. Although I think Scan might have. I don't know. I don't know if Scan's reaction time would have been good enough. Uh, Scan adding a bunch more barracks. He has an armory, interestingly enough. Uh, is he going to get weapons for his siege tanks? Is he going to get Valkyries? Is he going to do the mech switch? I don't know. Uh, looks like a drop is actually almost done for Whistler, though, so he will be able to drop this. Uh, but there are a handful of Medic Marine there as well. And, wow, look at that, this positioning by Scan. Scan clearly... Uh, well, I don't know. Actually, I thought he said he didn't know this map, but uh, doing some nice depot placement nonetheless. Really abusing this map. And it looks like here comes the drop, but there's only 12 Hydras, he's focusing down one of the Overlords. And it looks like the Hydras will barely clean it. No! Doesn't get it in time, and in come the reinforcements of Scan. Whistler's going back to mining! Oh no, Whistler's getting sieged! Oh my goodness! All those drones getting sieged to death. Oh man, this is not looking good for Whistler at all. That was so horrible. Transferring the drones back too early. This is, oh my goodness, and a vessel is is being produced for scan. He's sending out some, well, he's got a lot of random SCVs. That's actually quite interesting. Uh, a lot of lurkers are out now for Whistler, but not a lot of other units. Uh, what else is he going for? Going for plus two range attack, actually. Just going to go for a huge Hydra Lurk mid-game push. I think he's just going to go all in with a Hydra Lurk. Uh, he's behind about 30 food right now. Just lost a ton of drones. It looks like the SCV will scout the bottom left base. I don't know if Scan is aware of the 6 o'clock actually. But oh man, that is plenty of defenses right here. Uh, if Whistler tries to break this, that is gonna. Whistler's going for a huge drop though! Whistler going for a Doom drop in the main! Scan has a line of bunkers! But look at this great positioning though, Scan giving himself vision on his own cliff with these dropships. Whistler has to drop in a little bit further, but he has to drop this edge one though or else it will get sniped. Uh, he's dropping barely in range, no not in range of the siege tanks. Lurkers all up among the barracks So Whistler, but oh Scan looks like broke down the temple going straight into Whistler's main. Whistler has not been paying attention. Has not pulled his drones yet, but all these lurkers are in the main base of Scan, but Whistler is losing every single drone in his main. Uh, all the overlords are going somewhere, I don't know where they're going, but Whistler, Whistler, it looks like he's getting some SCV kills, but I don't know, is it going to be enough? I don't think it's going to be enough. I think he should actually run two lurkers here behind the natural. Uh, I don't know if he's aware that he can do that. But oh my god, all the drones going down. 15 kills on that siege tank, and it looks like the lurkers are getting cleaned up by the siege tanks uh, of Scan. Whistler down to only four lurkers, three lurkers, two lurkers left in the base. Whistler going in with more hydras though, he's going in with hydras in the front. Scan has left some marines in these bunkers though. So I think that will be enough and it looks like Whistler will lose his lair right here. Oh man, he might even lose his evo chamber before he finishes plus two, that would be even worse. Uh, Scan's bio is at 1-1. One, one. He stims, runs back in the bunkers, but all those marines actually died before they could get back, get back in those bunkers. So Whistler actually gonna try and break the front, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. All the reinforcements from Scan are coming down now, all the siege tanks sieging up. Whistler down to almost no units. He's got another uh, handful of hydras going up, but he's lost his main base. Oh! Did he get plus two? No! Plus two did not finish! Plus two did not finish, so Whistler is down to two bases, six o'clock, and the bottom left. He's got no lair, um, he's losing all the rest of his tech in his main base, and Scan sitting pretty at two bases once again. Looks like, uh, barely lost anything actually. And it looks like here comes a push. Bio and Siege Tanks, uh, wow, looks like the Hydra's doing a decent job with their plus one attack, but, uh, the Marines are at 1-1. One, one. Oh! Mana Defense Matrix! GG! Scan! Scan goes up 1-0 with a Mana Defense Matrix! How could you, Scan? How could you? 
So it looks like, oh, oh my goodness. Scan, scan, busting out the BM in the first game. Is that really necessary?